Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambeau channels. I've been saying it's pretty clear at this point that the SECV ripple appeal is not something that's going to prevent XRP from going on a fantastic bull run, hitting a new all-time high this cycle, assuming the market's going to go that direction. So if we have true expansion uh, in terms of breadth of markets, we have a proper alt season, there's no reason that XRP wouldn't be a part of that. And I've spoke about that at great length. So I won't give my whole spiel on that again. I just want to mention it at the outset. It's very clear that it's now been, uh, you know, well over two days at this point, and XRP only dropped after that news for about an hour and a half, and then sideways and up for the rest of that time period to this point. It's very obvious that XRP holders and speculators on a global scale agree this is not a big deal, and for good reason. Obviously, it does not impact the legal status of XRP, and uh, the appeal, no matter what happens, and it cannot, will not, impact secondary market transactions for XRP because the SEC literally cannot appeal that. That said, what is the worst case scenario for XRP? Ah, yes, well, this is an interesting topic. And uh, a popular XRP chart analyst uh, tackled just that. So I thought I'd share that with you uh, with uh, another post as well. But before we're going any further, I do want to be clear, I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice, and you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. All right, so in a worst-case scenario, how bad could things be if we're going to have a bull run? Um, and, you know, I've said many times, as far as how high XRP go goes... It's going to depend on how much money flows into the market. So how much money goes into Bitcoin first is a great question because frequently money goes into Bitcoin first and then it cycles through to Ethereum and other large cap coins, uh, then mid cap, small caps, rinse and repeat. So, uh, you know, I, I've been saying for a long time is, you know, the more money goes into Bitcoin, the better. Even if Bitcoin runs well before XRP, awesome, because I'll be believing if we see like, $150,000 Bitcoin, if that actually happens, and I'm not making a prediction, but if it does, I'm going to be thinking, this is going to be amazing for XRP. That's what I would be thinking at that point, even if XRP is lagging behind to whatever degree. And so chart, uh, chart analyst Igor Crypto shared his perspective on this. And mind you, with what he's sharing here, this isn't um, his base case. He's saying, okay, worst case scenario, like how bad could it actually be? Which is uh, an interesting exercise to run through. Uh, but he does think, in all probability, what's going to happen is XRP goes much higher, as does the rest of the market. And um, I have to say, even as somebody who's not a chart analyst, I, I find that to be um, th the most convincing approach, that we're not going to have the worst case scenario, the worst case range for XRP. Could happen, um, in which case we might not even hit a new all-time high, but I do not find that probable. If we're going to have a proper alt season, I think there's about no chance of that, but uh, we'll find out together. So anyway, here's what he had to say, though. XRP worst case scenario, and this is a range of $2.30 to uh, $5.89, XRP USD chart on your screen here, and uh, let's start here, he says, uh, I've been getting direct messages asking about the worst case scenario for XRP this cycle, so let's break it down. Here's my rationale with two solid approaches. Approach one, back in December 2020, when the SEC dropped the lawsuit, XRP took a huge hit but still managed to do a 10x from the bottom. Okay, so I'll pause note, I'm sure he's talking about the uh, the bottom for that portion of the cycle. And so it probably would have been somewhere around there. Um, if it was, if the bottom of the mark, if the bottom after that drop after the lawsuit was 16 or 17 cents, though, I think it would be more than a 10x. So I'm not sure what number he's considering from. Uh, also, I will note that XRP had a bottom that cycle briefly on at least uh, one or two exchanges of 10 cents. That's how low XRP got 10 cents. And according to Live Coinwatch, it peaked at $2. I actually shared a screen grab of, uh, of XRP hitting exactly $2. I shared that in 2021 in April when it was running up. Um, so, but think about that. So even with the lawsuit, from the bottom to the top of the cycle, we got a 20-fold increase with the lawsuit. And now the market's showing us that they don't really care. Almost nobody's panic sold over the... Uh, the, the appeal, which makes sense because it doesn't actually matter for extra people. There's the people that panic sold. I, I assume they just didn't know better. Or even if they did, they were worried that other people didn't. And so then they panic sold anyway. I don't know. <laughs> I would think it would be one or the other. Um, but but yeah, I mean, his point's certainly not lost on me. It's you got a multiplier effect, um, even with all that going on, right? And then he says, if we see similar situation after the SEC appeal, 
we could easily see XRP hitting that $5 to $6 range. If we extend that move, we might even reach the FIB 1.618 level at around $6.59. So think about this. So if you're talking about um, the low after the lawsuit drop, say that's a, a 10x. Well, sure, that's true. I mean, from where we are now, you'd already be over five bucks. And if you're considering the low of the cycle of uh, 28 cents, that's how low XRP got in June of 2022, then you're looking at somewhere around what, like five, $5.60 with a 20x from the bottom of the cycle. So either way you look at it, uh, much, much higher. And to me, this is why I keep wondering, even though I'm not going to make a price prediction because I'm not a chart guy and it would be disingenuous, I can't help but wonder if perhaps uh, that would be a bit too conservative if we're going to have a proper alt season. And I would, I, I would lean towards yes, <laughs> you know. Uh, I guess we're all going to find out together here. But, you know, I look at what even Ethereum did from two cycles ago to, to just last cycle, and it had over a threefold increase. So for XRP, that would still be over 10 bucks. Anyway, um, anyway, he continues here. He says, approach number two, if Bitcoin hits its top at $74,000, or if we get a similar 2021 style run with a new all-time high between $80,000 to $100,000, then the alts will follow suit with similar percentage gains relative to their previous highs. Uh, so I like this. So it, it kind of depends on how, this is what I was saying. I've been saying this for a long time. That's why when I was reading this, I was like, that resonates with him. Like, yes, that's obviously absolutely unquestionably true. And so he says, for example, XRP pumped to $1.96 last cycle and Bitcoin hit $68,000. Now I'll pause to note that I shared with you that I saw and posted a peak of $2 for XRP, but um, that doesn't mean that he's wrong. It, uh, it, it's, it depends on where you pull the data from. So I just told you I pulled data from Live Coinwatch which uh, collects the, the information in a particular way. And he could be looking at a particular exchange or uh, you know, a different uh, price aggregator or anything to that effect, uh, which would explain the, the, the discrepancy there. And I see that all the time and it doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. I just thought I'd mention that in case anybody was curious. Um, so again, Bitcoin hit 68K and he's saying XRP hit a buck 96. Okay, so consider this. In the 2024 to 2025 cycle, if Bitcoin hits A, $80,000, that's a 17.65% increase. So XRP could hit $2.31. And so that's, see, that's he's clearly being conservative, though. Um, you know, if, if, even if Bitcoin goes that high, it's certainly plausible that XRP could go way higher. Like XRP has been so suppressed and basically missed a bull run cycle, even though it moved in correlation. But I mean, in terms of uh, where it otherwise would have gone, I think it's very clear it was suppressed. Now that it's not, um, you know, if, if you're not taking the most conservative, you know, case, the worst case scenario, then you probably wouldn't think that's probable. But again, he's not talking about what he thinks is probable here. He's sharing uh, you know, if you just base it on last cycle, which again was a suppressed cycle. So again, if you want the worst case scenario, we're looking at it here, basically. That wouldn't even be a new all-time high. And then he says, B, if Bitcoin goes to $100,000, that's a 47.06% increase. XRP could hit $2.88. So again, you're looking at the low end. Um, I would not be happy with that <laughs> because that's not even a new all-time high. I, that would mean that I went through another cycle selling literally zero XRP and I just keep holding. So, <laughs> um, again, but all that to say, I don't think that that's remotely probable and I know he doesn't either. Um, we just can't know for sure what's going to happen with XRP price. It's not impossible for that to happen and I acknowledge that, but I would not, if I had to bet, I would not be betting on that. But, you know, even at the upper end of the range, even if you're talking close to $6, well, at least I would have gotten to sell, sell a chunk of my XRP if it gets up even close to $6. Uh, but that still would be a bit disappointing because then you're talking about not even a two-fold increase from its previous all-time high. But that's why I keep saying, you know, XRP has been coiling up in price for almost seven freaking years. So, you know, there's... I've, I haven't seen anything like that in crypto, and... That's what I keep seeing from the chart analysts who would be more in tune if there's been another example in the 15-year history of crypto. They'd, they'd be the ones to know it. I And it, maybe it exists, and I just haven't seen it from anyone yet. But I have seen analysts say, 
they've never seen this before, and also it's never happened before. And so if that's true, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised because most coins are way, way, way newer, so it, they couldn't have, like, they haven't even lived seven years. But for XRP to have gone through a cycle and then coiled through two cycles, you know, almost seven years to this point, the br and then after all that artificial price suppression, I can't help but think we're not going to get the worst case scenario. I, I just, I keep wondering if even $10 is too conservative. And I don't know, I'm not bold enough to make a price prediction. I'm not. But I can't help but wonder if, because I just look at how other cryptos from back in the day performed. Like, like I said, even ETH, getting that threefold increase from one cycle to the next. You're telling me XRP can't do that and it's one of the most useful cryptos on the entire damn planet and it has legal clarity. It's got all this stuff, uh, everything that's happening on a, from a fundamental perspective. I just, I, I, but that's also why I say if we don't have a proper alt season, then yeah, I mean, all bets are off. I wouldn't blame XRP for that though. That's why my caveat is, yeah, I think XRP hits a new all-time high, enters price discovery, melts faces so long as... Uh, the market has an actual alt season, you know, because if we don't have that, it's not XRP's fault if it doesn't go, because uh, history tells us XRP doesn't go unless the rest of the market does. But there's lots of reasons to think that is what's probable. And it's just, you know, I was talking, um, I was talking last night in a video about how whales, it's just amazing. It was brought up by um, the qu crypto quant guy, and he was, he just shared a chart, and he's just like, uh, so if this is the top of the market, if that was it, this is the least profit by a lot that Bitcoin whales have ever made in a cycle. And I just, I have a hard time believing that they're going to get wrong footed to that degree for the first time in history, especially at a time when it looks like based on historic precedent, altcoins are just kind of getting, getting going the, the upward direction. It doesn't mean this is literally today or tomorrow, but um, there are a lot of analysts saying, guys, it really looks like they, you know, they, they broke out of a downward trend line retested to the downside and it looks like they're actually positioned to move to the upside i keep seeing that from multiple analysts and and there's also and it also if you consider what's happening in traditional finance that looks primed as well uh, and we know there's that correlation for good reason because stocks are risk on assets you know, cryptos risk on assets so they get treated in that sense similar in in concept so if we are going to have that continuation up for stocks you better believe it's going to be happening in crypto i'd be shocked if not that would be a first so I think that the best is yet ahead of us. There's also this post from the on-chain analytics firm Santiment, and it was just kind of interesting. I thought I'd mention that as a blurb here. Uh, there's a lot of conversation around XRP, not surprisingly, and they're kind of noting that there's excitement, but also kind of almost an equal measure bearishness. <laughs> but this is, mind you, this is in terms of conversation. So there is excitement over the, uh, the Bitwise filing for the ETP, and so an ETF is a type of ETP. Um, and then also uh, the, the talk surrounding the, uh, the the appeal, which, yeah, it hit XRP, but barely. Like, X, XRP is obviously fine. Been over two days. XRP only went down for an hour and a half, whereas when we got the lawsuit in 2020, XRP tanked for a straight freaking week, down about 80%. Here, it only went down for an hour and a half. So, no, I'm not concerned about that. Not at all. And neither are, broadly speaking, XRP holders, as evidenced by them being in the market and buying and selling accordingly. That's very obvious. It's not my opinion. Like, just look at what they've done. Look where the price of XRP is. Look how it's still moving. It just moved to the upside. It's moving in correlation with Bitcoin and the rest of the market. So it's just kind of interesting that all of this is getting discussed, but ultimately the, the reality of the situation is if the market's going to go, it's going to go and XRP is a part of it. So XRP would go too. That I firmly believe is the most probable outcome. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say are right. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon Lambo.